Jay Jazz. <laughs> Jay Jazz, oh. really? Like you and the, you and I need to have a one on one. I'll comp this motherfucker. You just get on. The- <laughs> 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 Welcome, friends and fans, to another edition of GalaxyCon Live, where we are bringing the convention experience directly to you. And today, we are going back to Sunnydale with some amazingly talented guests from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So without further ado, let's head on down to the Hellmouth and see who we find. Our first guest is an actress and writer whose credits include George Lopez, Desperate Housewives, and Park. Today, she joins us to discuss her experiences as college roommate and 3,000-year-old demon Kathy Newman. Please welcome Dagny Kerr. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that was my magic entrance. <laughs> I didn't know you could see me dancing to the music. <laughs> that opening music. Ah, it's, it's a catchy tune. You'll see at the it end. Was. Um, if I do a guy, oh, that was good. This is the most exercise I've had in a while. So it was oh, good. Thank you for I, the cardio. <laughs> uh, uh, absolutely. Our pleasures. Uh, Dagny, how are you? I'm great. How are you, Patty? I am well in my corner of the world. And how are things in yours? Oh, they're they're awesome. Just trying to stay sane. <laughs> Aren't we all sane and healthy? I know, right? That's the goal right now. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, as I as I said, the past past eighteen months or whatever, I say, hey, you know, okay is the new awesome. You know what? Exactly. You know, it was good that we had to take it down a little bit because awesome is really strong. Like you have to really like if you say you're awesome, wow. <laughs> I don't know that many people that are, you know. You better, you better back it up. But I'll tell you what, though, I think we got some uh, other guests that will live up to that. So let's bring them on out. And next, she is an actress known for the Dead Space Games ER and the highly undervalued animated OVA Turok Son of Stone. Today, she joins us to discuss the role of Slayer contractor Kennedy. Please welcome Iari Limon. Oh, 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 sorry. She was on deck. She's disappeared again. She's overseas. I tell you what, <laughs> let's move on to our next guest. He is an actor. Of his roles include The Brawl and Cell Block 99, Underground, and Necessary Roughness. Today, he joins us as initiative agent Riley Finn. Please welcome Mark Lucas. Hello. Hello. I can't, I can't, I can't top your entrance day, so I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to say I'm awesome. I'm not doing any dance moves. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> well, it's Sorry, all good. That's <laughs> all good, Mark. How you doing? I'm doing great. You? I, I can't complain in my corner of the world. How are things in your uh, rustic environment? <laughs> it's just, it's just a, it's just a drop. It's literally just a oh, okay. roll. There's a, there's a roll up behind me of a fake stone wall with a Goodyear sign. Um, oh, as, nice. You know, things are good. We're kind of, we're, we're really lucky. We're kind of, 10 years ago, we self quarantined onto a farm in Pennsylvania and kind of got out of the melee. So that turned out to be the best, one of the smartest, best decisions I've ever made. Uh, <laughs> as it turns out. My, 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 my extended family has a very large uh, farm in Missouri and uh, I try to go out there every couple of years. And I think I, I could do this. I, I, I think I could get, I could certainly get used to it. That's for sure. Yeah, that's but, right. But, but then again, no one nudged me at four 30 in the morning and say, well, time to go to work. <laughs> true yes true i am i i have taken it's funny you live on a farm you kind of take on farmers hours my wife's like you're going to bed it's 8 30. Uh-uh. <laughs> crazy much well mark so glad to have you on here and thank you for joining us today of course mm-hmm. thanks for having and, of course and next she is an actress writer director and producer whose body of work includes drones supernatural and the ghosts of albion series today she joins us to discuss the role of prudent witch tara mcclay please welcome back amber benson Hi. Hey. Sorry, I had a little trouble with my headphone. I'm like, what? What? Like an old person. I just need a horn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, those big electronic, those where they, where they had that, the wire, the box. <laughs> <laughs> just turn it all the way up. I can't hear you. Can you talk louder? Hang on. Let me turn on my key light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, technology. Amber, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> well, my corner of the world. Uh, so glad to have you back. Yeah, no, it's really nice to be here. You know, uh, I was hoping by by the time we did this, we would be a little further along in the pandemic and and out in the world a little more. But uh, but you know, you got to roll with the virus, and uh, I guess we're hey. we're going back in. <laughs> it, was, it was curious. Uh, the metaphor I've said is that the. Uh, 
the quarantine uh, the quarantine groundhog popped up, and he, unfortunately for all of us, he saw his shadow. So we went back. Yep, in again. yep, yep. Back and, in until uh, next but, February. But the, the, <laughs> the light is still at the end of the tunnel. I know we're gonna get there. I cling to that optimism, and and I, I will I will hold on to my audacity. I, I got and, I got I got everything crossed. I'm all vaccinated up. I was ready for what was that hot vac summer? Is that what we we're supposed to have? <laughs> That's so Whatever. Wow. I'll tell you what. Let's keep the, let's keep those fingers crossed because I'm told I'm told Iari is good to go. So let's. Oh wow! Up. Your phone and, is not even ringing. Whose phone is this? Main great. Um, oh my god! This is mine. Oh my god. Hold on. Why, why am I going to do Oh, can you see me? Julian, yes, we can see you. Oh my gosh. Yes, Yari, you you're alive to millions I, of people. I'm so sorry. I got thrown in the pool with my clothes on. And I kept trying to tell them, I have, you guys, I have to. And they carried me and literally threw me in the pool. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I threw on someone else's wow. clothes and I have like mascara all over my <laughs> But I'm here, well, so I'm glad. Yay! Dagny, she beats your entrance now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to go where Hiari is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my I'm trying to keep my connection. Okay. Um, okay, well, you look you look great and you sound great, so you can, you can I have to get on an airplane in like an, an hour and a half, so I might have to grab an Uber and leave. Anyways, just ignore me. So, what's happening? How is everyone? Hi, Amber. Hi, Deb. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Life is good. Uh, okay. You know what? Yes. Yes, it absolutely is. It is. <laughs> it's a good. Is. Well, Yari, wet, wet, yes. or, wet or dry or across the world, we're so glad to have you here. So glad to have Thank all of you here you. on the GalaxyCon virtual stage. Our team is going to the chat room right now, pulling out the questions for us. In the meantime, I'd love to just throw this out. Uh, Buffy, of course, being... Uh, a very effects and makeup driven show. Uh, so there's a lot more going on than a traditional set. So um, for each of you, what was the craziest day you experienced on the Buffy set? Mm. <laughs> ah, go for it. <laughs> well, I guess, I'll jump in as we're as we all pause. I, I don't know what was the craziest day because it seemed like there was a lot of them. Um, yeah. When you when you when the, when you're working on a show with the word vampire in the title, you're working nights, uh, and so there are some there are some crazy days. But I remember. Like, you know, like since you brought up the whole makeup thing, Patty, it's like, you know, those guys getting in all the demon wear and I mean, it, it, they're they're in at three or four in the morning. So way before I would come in because I didn't have all that whole business to go through. So I would end up working all day with these demons and fighting and never, never meet, never have no concept who's under all of that makeup. And then at the end of the day, I would just get ready to go. Hey, they're like, hey, Mark, see you later. I'm like, hey, did we meet? <laughs> Sorry, he's like, it's Jack, dude. We work together all day. I'm like, oh shit. Like, and that, that happened, it seemed like that happened 20% of the time. You know, <laughs> like every other episode I was on, it seemed like I was meeting someone here, like for the second time at the end of the day. And it yes. was the first time actually making eye contact. <laughs> uh, I nice. remember, oh, sorry. No, no please go ahead. <laughs> No, oh, I remember good. one night, you know, we would, like you said, we would have these long, you know, nights, these long shoots. And I remember one night with all the potentials being really high on the scaffolding and um, Indigo almost fell. And that was really scary because we caught her and we were, I don't know, we were pretty high up there. But I think it was like a little wake up call for everyone because like we almost lost her. Like she almost, you know, dropped down <laughs> and uh, we all kind of just. It was like, a, oh my God, did she almost fall? And um, you know, we were we were all there, ready to rescue her. But that was pretty scary, pretty crazy. And she never forgot it. And she always brings it up. And you know, she's always really grateful. But you never know. I, I also remember one time bleeding from my arm and not wanting to tell anyone because I really wanted to do my own stunts. So I thought if I tell them I'm bleeding, like they're gonna not let me do anything. <laughs> So um, it was always an adventure. Like you never know what's what's gonna happen. But um, yeah, I don't know. What about you, Amber? Uh, bleeding on a vampire show? Oh, no, we can't. We can't let that. No, 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 no. We, we're gonna have to send you home. It's part of the job for my career. Go for it. Uh, I'm trying to think. I guess probably we were making the musical because it never died. 
like you say one day, but it was like the interminable episode. It would be like yeah. you wrap the eight first eight days of filming, which was kind of the traditional shooting time. And then for like months afterwards, the dress would show up in my trailer and I'd be like, oh, we're doing pickups for the musical. It's <laughs> <laughs> never going to be over. It's going to be lip syncing. The eternal, <laughs> the eternal episode. The eternal episode, yeah. <laughs> well, it was worth it in the end. As what? a viewer, it was agreed, worth it in the end. Agreed. <laughs> so, uh, Dagny, what you got? Well, I think definitely for me, going back to the makeup of the demon world, um, those contacts that you have to wear when you're a demon that go into your whole eye. I had those in all day long. <clears throat> when I say all, I mean like at least 12 hours and I had a little eye person that would bring little drops to me, but I was basically blind for the whole day and I would just sit in my trailer. And then it was like two o'clock in the morning and I've got really dry eyes and I blinked and they got stuck like up here <laughs> like in my lid and the eye guy I looked I love that I had a personal eye guy my eye guy came on a set and was like we have to wrap Dagny <laughs> she can't do this like, it was wow. crazy so I, I mean I was in there for one day but I don't know how the people that did it like every single day that that makeup is intense and that it's, it's a lot uh, yeah I know uh whenever we had Brett Spiner from Star Trek he talks about his, his big yellow ones he says I I had to be off book the night before because when I was on the set, I couldn't read scripts. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't see, see or do it's anything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those fun wow. ones. So. It really makes you appreciate to be able to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, really, I mean, it's something we, we see so, all the time, so you don't think about it. Like, yeah, it's very intense. Very like when someone's intense. about to throw you into a pool. <laughs> oh my so, god little, little things uh, in life we take for granted <laughs> <laughs> absolutely well thank you so much for indulging my capricious curiosity our team let me know we're good to go to our audience questions so let's go ahead roll our first one and this is gonna come from samantha who wants to know is there a storyline or aspect of your character you wish would have been explored more um, I know that it was written that Kennedy came from like, uh, I believe like the, oh, I gotta hope I'm not messing this up with some, <laughs> like, um, a military background, Jewish family kind of traveled a lot. Um, but I never saw it, uh, being, or, or actually was it? Oh my God. I'm like losing my brain. Um, I feel like I would have liked to have known more about, I didn't know about my character ahead of time ever. It's almost like I, I would learn about her after right. or through the dialogue or you know but i would have i would have liked to know more and i think i would have liked uh for you know um for there to have been more history so that people so that she had a little bit more i don't know background so she was more i don't know substantial or i guess they never knew what they were going to do with her so maybe that's why but and, um uh, yeah. and they've they've continued her story in the the oh, they extended have? Com in the comics yes oh which Joss has overseen, and it's all with his imprimatur. Okay. So fans oh. consider the the comics to be canon. Great. So yes, so yes, she's she's still out there. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you for that. I'll have to you're, check you're... it out. <laughs> you're welcome, welcome. Cool. Who's who's got another one? Well, I think for for Kathy, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious it should have been more um, about her relationship and love of share. That was meant to be funny. I was going to say, wait a minute. I hope so. Either that or her love of iron. Or no Something. Honestly, there was, there was so many fun quirks. With, with Maybe with her hair. labeling skills. I don't know. I mean, there's so well, many. Well, there was there was a lot of interesting quirks. I I I, 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 I would have, I would have liked to have, uh, have seen your character stick around some more or be brought back on some. Me form too. And, yeah. 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 And and, I was and not very just fast. Zoom yeah. is terrible for jokes. I find like I'm on here oh, and I'm like, so I and I'm like I, no, it's like no. the lag. You forget that there's yeah. a lag. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? It, it just makes us understand like the pain when our comedy doesn't work. So it's okay. So I, I'm We're all okay with ups on Zoom. Yeah. I, 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 try, I try to warn my improv friends during quarantine. It's not going to work. Yeah. But, um, but, but yeah, thank you for saying that. Yeah, I feel like the, the my storyline was jam packed in one episode, so it would it would have been fun to extend the tension out a little longer. But I'm not in control of that, so I was ha happy to be hey, for the, the short time that I was. We're, 
we're we're always we're always glad for the work that we get. Exactly. Oh my gosh, who's the cutie that just walked behind you? Are <laughs> someone walked behind me? This tiny? Time. No, no, there no, was a tiny time. person. <laughs> the, guy the, the guy with the abs. Do we know? Not cutie. Do, 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 do. I know. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Salut. <laughs> This is my favorite panel ever. Oh my God. Welcome to the United States of America. You took oh my little kid. Okay, go. I don't, want, I don't want to use up my time. So. Mark, question. <laughs> uh, Mark, what you got? It, you know, I had, I had both the blessing and the curse of being the one that followed Angel. And so they put an oh. awful lot of thought into my storyline, you know, and uh, one of the first conversations I'll never forget having with Joss, he's like, don't go online. He's like, we're going to do everything they can, but we can, but they're going to fucking hate you. And, <laughs> and so they put a lot of thought. And so like, look, selfishly, like, I don't know, there was a pocket of time and I don't remember these episodes that well, but it's like, there was a pocket of time when like Riley was going to the vampire den and getting sucked. Up. Like every, every actor wants, like the grass is always greener. Right. So it's like, okay, you're playing a good guy. Let's go to the dark side for a little while. Um, but, you know, I think that they put an awful lot of thought in trying to, uh, you know, differentiate and, and make someone believable that could potentially be her next love interest with such a rabid fan base. And, you know, as I think I said to you, Batty, Patty, before we started, the beauty of these virtual cons is that no one can throw shit at me right now. And so this is this is a huge win. I, I, it's, it, do you think maybe uh, uh, you've been vindicated at this point? Now that the fans have matured a little. You know, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes it happens. You know, the fans twenty years ago. Oh wow. You know, yeah, that was, that was a great character. I see where they're going with it. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's funny about what Josh. Because people tend to forget. Yeah, the internet was around back then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, days, so. I'm trying Amber. to think. Yeah, I want to say hi to Samantha who who sent in the question. I think I know which Samantha it is. I bet. Oh wow. Um, mm, uh, uh, you know, I I really wish I'd known really what what Tara was studying and getting her degree. <laughs> I think back and I'm like, I don't even really know what classes she was. I really wish we had explored that and see like, I feel like feminist studies, maybe, you know, gender, gender studies. I feel like she was in, you know, the sociology program, <laughs> but we never really talked about, we never really focused on that. I would have liked to have delved. Hmm. No, yeah, it was exci favorite. super exciting. I know. I couldn't no, think no. of anything else. <laughs> no, that's Did you it. and Tara and Willow met in college, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. And Samantha, great question to start us off with. Thank you. Yeah. What do we have next? From Steve, who was your most fun co-star on the Buffy set? Oh, Miss Kitty Fantastico was my favorite. There was like 75 of them. Oh. Literally 75 small kittens that they just kept oh. switching out because they could only work like five minutes at a whack. Like it was, it was amazing. Eva's. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. It was that so was my cute. favorite, too. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Let's <laughs> say uh, kitties, kitties. All right. <laughs> Uh, pussy cats, what, a, pussy cats. what a safe answer you <laughs> man, you know, it's like, I'm like man everyone was fun like Nick was funny and, and you know James was hysterical when I was doing the spike thing you're like the cats I'm like mother that was a fucking great answer, <laughs> great answer. Um, yeah I don't know for me it's like I, I, I don't know I kind of I was so green and new to the game of acting in Hollywood like it was like Sarah was so patient and cool with me. And I, I mean, I had such a good time and Tony was mentorish and I, like so many oh, people yeah. were so great during that time. And I was kind of coming in as a crew guy at heart and had no clue. So I just remember completely fucking around with the sound guys and camera department guys. I'm still in touch with and friends with, yeah. um, we had the best so crew. We it, truly it was had the a, best crew. Such a fun group of people. And it was, uh -huh. it was, it was, it was such a, it left an imprint because it was such an early job, even though I came to, Los Angeles late age wise for an actor to kind of get started. It was a very, um, I want people speaking in foreign languages behind me. Like, it's amazing. Um, uh, that was the most interesting part of my answer. I'm done. <laughs> 
but no, it was a, it was a really fun group, and everyone understood that the the time, like you start Monday morning at five a.m. and you don't stop Saturday morning until like seven a.m. Like it was it was a brutal, very challenging show to shoot, and yeah. if you don't, it, and everybody knew what you were signing up for, so if you didn't come with a smile and and some level of professional and preparedness and a sense of levity to you like you weren't going to make it oh, yeah. and, you know, i think everybody worked really hard and tried to have a tried to have a good time doing it you know uh, that's absolutely fair I, I didn't even know until i got the role that i had to fight or do anything <laughs> like li they didn't ask me beforehand i always say like what if i had like only one arm and they didn't know or something really random. Like they just trust, they were just like, you're gonna get on the set, you're gonna go, blah, blah. I was like, oh my Lord, this is a <laughs> lot. I go, me, you want, oh, okay. They're like, and you're throwing yourself back against the bed. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> so it was, uh, but everyone was so nice, but as Mark was saying, it's so fast and furious and you do have to really just, um, just be up for anything. And everyone was so great. There you go, awesome, Steve. Thank you. Great question. Uh, I, I, I loved, I just want to throw in, I really sure. loved the post-production people. I would hang out with them all the time and like go to bars with them. And, you know, I mean, the, the cast was also really nice. I felt really, I felt a lot of support from Sarah. Uh, she knew that it was not easy coming into a show. I mean, it, not that it was difficult, but, you know, I mean, after seven years, I just didn't, I couldn't find my place. Probably all me. Have nothing to do with anyone else because they were very nice. But she still was very nice and sweet and said, if you ever need anything, come um, to my trailer and, you know, feel free to talk to me anytime. And I thought that was really, really thoughtful of her. But when I would hang out, I would go run to the post-production people and be like, okay, where are we going tonight? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I loved that. I, I just loved that I had, I mean, you know, wasn't the, the cast that I hang out with, but I found, you know, my little niche of, of people, sure. all the post-production people. Everyone on that set was great. The crew, the, but my, the post people were my... Or my little crew. <laughs> nice. nice, very nice. Steve, thank you. What do we have next? And here's one from Maya. What was your favorite scene to film? Loved um, filming the scene with Warren and Willow, where in the end of The Killer and Me, uh, she's, you know, he's, she's coming back because I had to do everything with both of them and watching uh warren be willow willow be warren was fascinating for me because he did such a good job of like really taking on willow you know and even when i was like with him i felt like i was with willow like, <laughs> so that was really really fun to have to do everything with both of them as it's a, as if it's the same person and i just it was a blast for me to have to do it with both of them and see the same person. I, I love that. That's it. <laughs> um, I really liked uh, filming the uh, you make me complete uh, scene where I'm on like a, a giant board and all of the uh, all of the Teamster guys were like lifting me up like it was like one of those weird sort of like fulcrum sort of so that like that they would lift up and it would go or they would push down and it would go up like this um and i would float that way um it was just really funny to 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 be singing about you know special lady friend time with uh, a whole bunch of dudes watching <laughs> and participating mm. almost you know they're the ones of doing course. the heavy lifting yeah no fair absolutely it was pretty fair. funny i i thought it was very funny uh, so it's too. Ah, Daddy, what you got? <laughs> I really love. Well, I worked with Sarah primarily, obviously, and she was amazing. But I really loved uh, the scene where she's getting ready to go out, and I'm ironing and like stopping her to show her like about labeling her calls and all that stuff because she was, it was just a really fun dynamic between us two and she was hilarious to work off of and then the crew would actually in between each take come and tell me their roommate stories <laughs> they're like wow. i had a roommate once this guy so it was really funny so everyone kind of was sharing like their bad roommate stories so that was that was a really fun scene it was a funny scene too so it was one of the lighter ones that really showed our our um dynamic right on cool 
Mark, bring us home. You know, I think, you know, I, I don't remember like such specific scenes, but it's like as soon as the question uh, popped up from Io, the first thing I thought was how much more comfortable I was filming all the fight scenes. I didn't have any confidence <laughs> as an actor at that time. I, I had just really started and I was just like, those days were like nerve wracking as shit for me. And so, but I had just got done finished playing a, a professional basketball. So I, I had all the confidence in the world as an athlete and in my physicality. And so when all the fight scene stuff came, I was like weighing in on choreography and, Hey, I can do this. Do you want me to grab that or climb over? I can jump that. Or what do you want me like that? I had such a confidence and ease with that stuff, but it's like, is the scene time. I wasn't saying shit. I was just like nodding. Yes, Sarah. Okay. Josh, like whatever, because I just didn't have it. So for me, I was so much more relaxed and comfortable doing all the, uh, the stunt stuff than I was in the actual bigger scene work. Right on. <clears throat> Very good. Maya, my, my, uh, great question. Thank you so much. Hey, what do we have next? From Mark. <clears throat> what has been your favorite non-Buffy project? Oh. They've all paled in comparison. Did you see pale? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I one. Should, uh, that that uh, one went over it, well. It, it, went, it was okay yeah. considering. Yeah, it was good. Uh, <laughs> no lag on that one. Yeah. Nice um, <laughs> probably for me, I'll answer quickly. Probably mine was was probably Night and Day. I'm such a James Mangold and Tom Cruise fan, and it was such a kind of a fun movie and a fun job. And they they all have pros and cons. Like whether it's that giant event movie like that, or you do some little like two hundred thousand dollar movie where you're literally being the transpo captain, the first AD, the actor, the you know. And it's yeah. like it, there's so many benefits to so many things. And it, it, I think everyone will probably agree. It all comes down to the team of people you're working with and the relationships you make along the way but if you're talking strictly just like kind of a movie experience um it was kind of when you get a chance to work with the best of the best and you kind of see how they do things and being a part of that world that, that was a pretty good one for me right on. <clears throat> uh, I I did a an episode of how to get away with murder with Viola Davis and I love this woman like she's one of my favorite actresses that I've respected for a long time and then meeting her in person and seeing how humble she is and how kind hearted and just warm and welcoming. I, I, that was like, that made my year that year. So I, I felt nice. very, very blessed to have worked with, with Viola Davis. Nice. <laughs> no wrong with that. <laughs> Dagny and I are gonna do have a little standoff here. Who's gonna yeah. Oh no, I was just waiting. Um, you can go ahead. If you there you go. You go. Yeah. I know it's always a trick. It's it's kind of a tricky question because sometimes yeah. you think like sometimes it's the ones that you like to roll the best, and then sometimes <clears> it's working. It was more like the experience with somebody. So, gosh, I don't know. Um, Buffy was definitely up there as far as like getting to do so many elements of acting and fighting and comedy and so so many genres put together that's kind of a uh, you don't do that very often um you know i think my work on the on which i haven't done a lot of uh, um multi camera was with the george lopez show i think that was really a cool experience just because um that was such a big deal to have that that family at that time shown on yeah. tv there's still there wasn't a lot of like latin like sitcom it, it was just such a big yeah. deal i mean obviously i was not <laughs> i was not latin but i was but it was just really cool to be part of that experience and um he's so funny and uh it, it it's such a scary experience too just because it it changes on the spot. You can't ever plan anything and things are rewritten literally a whole, you know, whole episode. Okay, now we've got this and now you get to film this. So it's, there's no planning involved and it's very scary, but I also like being in front of a live audience. So I think that was, uh, yeah, I think that was a, a really cool experience. That's yeah. That's something I imagine you did not experience on Buffy because I know <laughs> Mr. Whedon does not like his lines changed at all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> big trouble. Do you? Uh, yeah. I said a contraction once. I, I said I'm instead of I am and was correct. Oh. Wow. I, I have to, yeah. sorry, I have to run. I'm running to the airport to try to catch a flight because I don't have my help form and all kinds of stuff. Oh, but, um, dear. Um, I'll, I'll try to, when I'm from the airport, I'll try to do the, I'll try to go back on to the, the 
you know, the one-on-one. The, yeah, but absolutely. Kisses to everybody. Hi. It was so nice yeah. to see you guys. You it too. Fabulous. You look yeah. awesome. Hey, Yari, ha- have you a safe too. journey. With mascara. On. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> you know the expression, hot mess? <laughs> Have you ever heard this before? <laughs> Never. <laughs> that you know what? Awesome. I, I give her, yeah, she's a that trooper. Boy, awesome. I throw it out, I get it up, run it around. Like, I'm like, here, yeah. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, it's just like, wow, that's, yeah. that's, that is. She's always so much fun. Yeah. I've had I'm such make, a good time I'm with exhausted. her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, uh, Amber, bring us home. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite uh, non buffy role? I'm like, uh, what's happening? Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I've I've really enjoyed moving into other mediums, uh, writing books. I did a series of books called The Witches of Echo Park, and that was really really fun to do. And I've I've had a, a really good time with sort of the afterlife of it. Like we're cre- we've been working on it to turn it into a television show, and it's just been a lot of fun. Like sort of playing on that side of of the uh, the, the camera and that side, of, you know, the creative like yeah. written word side. Um, yeah. No. Good for you. Yeah, you really did some fine work in that. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, 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 well. And here's one from Madison. What do you all like to do in your free time? <laughs> for actors, the bulk of our time. <laughs> <laughs> You're a farmer right. now, Mark. So you don't much have free it. time. <laughs> no, that's right. I mean, I got I have two young kids, and so I'm uh, I'm I'm a homebody. So I uh, I've gotten a little bit into the um, old house restoration thing. So I'm I'm doing that or playing with my kids and being with my family. That's 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 the best part of it, right there. Right on. Nice. I just read. I read as much as possible to escape this world. <laughs> no, we have we have a we, we have a kid at our house too, and uh, so it's a lot of playing. We play dress up, and um, she likes to play business lady. She likes to dress up in my stuff. <laughs> and, like, business lady, she's in, she's in charge, and I'm her secretary. I was like, wait, it's hilarious how do I get to be the secretary. <laughs> she's such a badass. I, I have to say, kids are the best. Spending time with kids. Like you for, you forget how out of touch you are with your imagination until you spend time with kids. And then it's like, oh, I totally see that fake thing. Yeah, totally that monster that's in the clock. I totally, and you, you start to see it. You start, I've been spending a little too much time at home, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> haven't we all? <laughs> It's just like, I, I, how does, how, I, I'm, I'm enamored of the thought of the little girl all dressed up and just on a phone. Like, bye, sell, bye, sell, well, bye, bye, my, bye, sell, <laughs> My dad had, uh, he, my dad gave me one of, he had like this old Corona typewriter. And so business lady came out of like, you carry it like it's a suitcase and you set it up and she would just like type and, and she was, she became business lady because she was always typing <laughs> and doing. And then I was the secretary giving her like information and checking things it yeah the, the old like all the crazy old stuff that like kids just like like you give a kid a gift and really they're more interested in the box you give a kid you know like they just want to make they they love things that make them use their imagination and the typewriter it's not electric it's not talking to them it's not saying anything or doing you know they have to you know just like no swipe ding. screen yeah yeah no swipes <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. don't have to worry about what they're reading or seeing because you know it's they're they're generating the content. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, very That's true. Good. And out of curiosity, in your reading, is there anything lately uh, uh, an author or a series you've encountered that's um, really struck you? I've been rereading all the Agatha Christies, and there are a lot of them. Um, and I am just every <laughs> every time they were so little old ladies that that are kind of like. Um, uh, sort of in, in people's business, look, you know, like looking around, all the detectives call them old pussies. And every time they say it, I just like, I lose my mind. I just like, the old pussies, those old pussies, you know, they're, they're getting in people's business, those old pussies. <laughs> Sounds like a new game for the daughter. Let's, let's bring it back. Old pussies. Let's bring that back. <laughs> just bring it back. It cracks me up. I just, every, and it's constant. And there's, there's a lot of like inappropriate stuff too that you like just racist stuff and stuff that you're just like this would not fly now and and you can i sometimes i'm like this needs a disclaimer this is upsetting um, it, 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 it is it is a product of its time it really is and you have to be really mindful and i think it's it's really interesting to to reread and to sort of like see see how much the world has changed and how little the world has changed at the same time 
it's kind of it's kind of fascinating, you know. But it, it definitely, you go, oh yeah, racism is baked into our society as a, as a world because these are these are British books and it's all in there. It's all the same, and it's 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 actually kind of upsetting when yeah. you when you sort of dig into it. So, but I'm learning a lot about poisons. That's good. That, there you, there it's always you go. good to know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you never know when you might need that. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Mm. Uh, and Dagny, yeah. what's, your, what's your free time frolic? Gosh, I feel like I don't need more free time. I need something to do. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, my free, I, I'm so sick of free time. Um, and I'm not using it wisely. Uh, well, uh, watching RuPaul's Drag Race, I mean, to me, that is wisely. But that's what I do with my free time. I do watch a lot of TV, a lot of reality TV. Um, I do, uh, I do photography, so that's one of my um, things that I do. Portraits, but uh, street photography as well. But I feel like I just haven't done as much of it as of late, but that is something that I do like to do in my free time and also write and dance. But I feel like I haven't done that either because I like to go out and do that with groups. Um, but yeah, yeah. looking there forward to getting back to that. There you go. Any uh, a particular type of photography? I mean, do you like to use do you like color, black and white? Do you use filters or just? I love black and white <laughs> photography. So all my street photography I do in black and white. So that's my my favorite. Um, and then for portraits, well, I do both. Yeah, I love doing portraits of people. Nice. Yeah, love nice. capturing. Um, it's very hard to capture someone's essence. You have to be very sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> to get someone but it's it's when you do get it you're like oh my gosh that's so cool because it's frozen in time yeah. and that was just you'll never get that second back in life and photography is so cool that way you know yeah absolutely i just and i i picture you dancing and it's like river dance when you're like you're like i need my crew <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah <laughs> that's hilarious uh, i don't uh, think my my knees could handle river dancing but uh mine's more just like a basic <laughs> you know, like electric slide at this point, <laughs> you know, just a step touch. Oh, my, my days of break dancing are gone. Uh, I used to break dance. I did. Oh, really? yeah. I, I mean, oh. I was a professional dancer my whole life, but I did do a lot of like, yeah, a lot of things in the why 80s. Did, why didn't this come out on the show? Oh, my gosh. I, could you imagine Kathy break dance <laughs> while she's yes, labeling? Please. <laughs> yes, please. The worm? Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, the worm. Mm. Yeah, definitely can't do that anymore. <laughs> that's, that's for a young back. <laughs> that's for a young yeah. spine. <laughs> uh, and that's why it's called break dancing. Yeah. <laughs> that's someone who's got a good lower lumbar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. oh, Madison, thank you. Fun question. You, Madison. What do we have next? And it's from Danielle. What is your most loathed household chore? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. A, that's a first. <sighs> oh, man. I like cleaning. I'm one of those weirdos that really enjoys doing dishes and, and doing, like, the big the big spring clean. Um, sure. Uh, I, you know, I, do, I don't love vacuuming that much. So we ended up, uh, for, for uh, the holidays, we got a... Uh, one of the little Yuffie uh, robot-y vacuums. We call them, things. Yeah, yeah, we call him the king. <laughs> <laughs> the the seven and, a, seven and a half year old named him. He's the king and uh, he goes around. He just has sway over the whole house. Wherever he wants to go, he goes. He's the king. Oh. That's hilarious. Fair. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I'm with Amber. I actually love to clean myself. I, I was love to clean myself, <laughs> not myself. I like to my side myself. I also like to clean. Um, You're a bather. You like to I bathe. I actually don't like to, Yeah, that's a different story. But, um, yeah, you know, I think it's the cleaning is the, the before and after that's so strong, right? It's that the completion is very, very satisfying when you – that magic eraser, if you've never used that, yes. that sucker is like, yes. whoa. No, um, what we do for a living is so – there's no closure. There's no – you're just constantly throwing yes. yourself into things that never, you know, and so – It cleaning. never feels – like, yeah. oh, that was it. Yes. But yeah. cleaning, you can look and go, that was dirty. And now that is freaking clean. Yes. I think that's the, the, yeah. um, <laughs> the passion for cleaning. Um, I too <laughs> don't, not a fan of the vacuum. It's a little loud. It's the, the meditative cleaning is nice, but then the vacuum's like, whoa. Um, True. and I think like putting the dishes away, I don't love 
that maybe that part because yeah fair uh what you got mark <laughs> Yeah, no, I, 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 certainly not that level of specificity. <laughs> Definitely not that. And we haven't even talked about uh, swiffing. No, we'll, do it, we'll, no. Do, we'll talk about swiffing next. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of karate kid things we could say about these things. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I think that most of them probably just revolve around the kids. Like, you know, some of them are like the, the basic, like, just like cleaning up after kids all day long, which is like, you feel like as much as you say, hey, when you're done with this, clean it up. But like, you repeat yourself constantly. <laughs> like, the interesting thing that Hannah does not 180 is like food prep because you're constantly feeding them. Like, mm. it's like all day long, you're doing food. And then the morning, it kind of starts fun. By the end of the day, you're like, I'm so fucking sick of making food and meals and shit. Like, and like doing that all day long, you feel like a short order cook where you're constantly. Yeah. Like, just, it's a life of servitude <laughs> with young kids. When you're constantly, <laughs> like, they oh, don't like it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Constantly you're... doing food. And then they don't, Amber, exactly. And then they, they don't, they're like, they're, I'm they're not like, feeling that. You're like, this... I just made this. Is You're like, you will feel meal? it. Yeah, motherfuckers. It's the kind that took 12 minutes. Not the quick coats. Like, eat that shit. Right? You know, I'm like, not so hungry like, now. I know. It's just like, Man, my kids are, I, yeah, I'm my kids are such food divas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, it's like if the banana's got a brown spot, I'm like, don't. You no. peel that, you peel it, and you eat that shit. Like, I don't oh, want the crust. Yeah. Left the I, don't crust know if it's on. A, I don't know if it's a household <laughs> chore per se, but that's Well, that is. I, uh, yeah. I don't have kids, but I, I had a, a moment where I, I cleaned the bathroom uh, spotless. It was like, oh, I'm so proud of this. And my housemate trudged right on in, left <gasps> like muddy tracks. And I had an epiphany, and I immediately called my mother and apologized. Oh. <laughs> I was like, and now I, I get know, it. <laughs> I am so furious at Just, what he did, and I right. must have done that to you for for. Right. years i'm yeah. sorry yeah yeah you had kids funny. and animals like all of that stuff comes back you're like you yeah. are, there's just perpetual mud and hair coming in and out of the door oh, <laughs> all day yeah. long yeah absolutely uh danielle <laughs> fun question thank you very good we danielle have, we got time for one more let's go on a really fun one and here's some g <laughs> obviously team spike right? that was an easy one everyone thanks so much for joining <laughs> that was great <laughs> Jay Jazz, Jay Jazz, oh. really? Like you and Nina, you and I need to have a one-on-one. -on -one. I'll comp this motherfucker. You just get on. The <laughs> 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 Look, I can, I can now, we, enough time, Amber, are you okay? Yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> enough time has passed that I can separate myself from the show that if oh. you're not picking Team Spike because James was so good and the role was so great, like, you're you're an idiot. Like, <laughs> like truly. Like, I, I, I just think it was such a well... It, to me, that all collided. Like, that was the perfect, perfectly written role with the perfect actor. It, like, all of it, just like, I thought Spike was just so well... It, everything about it was, was I felt like it was a home run. We've, we've, we've had James here several times, and I adore him. He's just an absolute He's cool cat in yeah. every sense of the word. In every sense of the word. So, so I, I guess we're all on Team Spike by default. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, all right, JJs, there you go. And you got a stern talking to coming to you at some point. And uh, panelists, this has been an absolute delight. Any final words before we take our leave? No, thank you, Patty. You were fabulous. Yeah, this was really, really oh, fun and easy. You. It was so yeah, nice was seeing fun. you guys again. These things you end too. up being reu they end up being reunions of sorts yeah. for us. And so jealous of your yeah, of your life, for... Mark. It's I know, right? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, stop. No. <laughs> no. You have baby no. goats. I really will hate you. I know. I do. We do. I hate you. I hate you. Yeah. I want a baby goat. Oh, I do, too. We do I have would goats. like a baby goat yes. as well. Yes. Co Cosmo and Numi. Are oh, my God. We're coming to visit. Yeah. And listen. Definitely. Anytime. Yes. Next that's time awesome. we're in Pennsylvania, yeah. we're coming For to sure. see the goats. Do it. Do it. <laughs> My home address <laughs> is. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, uh, it has been my absolute pleasure to host you here at the GalaxyCon virtual stage once again. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to our audience for joining us, and thank you for your great questions. <clears throat> Hope to see you all again soon. Yes. Until then, bye bye, everyone. Take care, and remember, smiles are free. Don't be afraid to spend them often.